review. A capacitor stores electrical energy when a voltage difference causes charge to move from one plate to the other through the circuit. You can see this picture here. We have three batteries and this might represent a light bulb for example and here's a capacitor which is represented by two equally long lines in the circuit. When we apply that voltage charge is transferred from one plate to the other. One of the capacitor plates ends up with a net negative charge, the other ends up with an equally net positive charge, which we represent by Q. The capacitance of a capacitor depends on the geometry and materials of its construction. A capacitor, you remember, is two metal plates separated by an insulating layer, which we call the dielectric. Because it takes work to separate electric charges, capacitors store energy. And the unit for energy is, of course, in the SI system, joules, symbolized by capital J. Here are equations, any one of which can be used to calculate the potential energy that's stored in a capacitor. You can see in this first equation, if you know the amount of charge that's stored, and if you know the voltage that has been applied, you can use that relation. If you know the capacitance and the voltage applied, you can use that relation. If you know the charge that's been moved and the capacitance, you can use that relation. These are all equivalent. The one you use just depends on what you're given. So, let's find the energy stored when a 0.33 microfarad capacitor is connected across a 120 volt potential difference. Well, here we know the capacitance and we know the voltage. So I think we should use this middle equation here and not worry about the others. If we want, we can check off the things we know. We know the capacitance, 0.33 microfarads, so that quantity is given. We also know the voltage, so we know this quantity here and we know that one there. So clearly we're going to use that middle relation to figure out the energy that's going to be stored. There it is. Remember that we need to take this micro prefix out and substitute the proper power of 10. Micro is 10 to the negative sixth. Make sure that you square that voltage. And the unit for energy is, of course, joules.